Welcome everyone, my name is Michael. Today, we're doing something that I've never done before, and that is use a turkey baster in the pour. Um, this week's Pick My Pour was just a perfect opportunity to continue the little silliness that I kind of wanted to do this week. Just, just sometimes for myself, I like to break it up, make it a little lighthearted, not plan out so much, just have a good time. And I thought that giving you guys, you know, three fun items to choose this week was the, the, the perfect way to do that. Um, so, and you guys picked the turkey baster and I love it. Um, you also picked this fantastic color palette. I love these colors. Um, so with that being said, let's go into the colors right now. I'm going to put this to the side and let's start off with light violet. Then we have a neon violet. Next we have light blue violet. I guess there's a theme going on here and neon blue. All right, very easy. Then of course, we have our titanium white. Yep, this is actually, oh, this is actually Artist Loft today, titanium white. Not the level one, the, the, the normal Artist Loft. Um, and of course, we are going to use our Oxide Black from Amsterdam. So that's that. Very, 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 very easy. Um, let's go in now and play my favorite game, your favorite game, everybody's favorite game around the world is clean up the sticks and count them. There's not that many. We're going to go real fast today, guys. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. And six. All right, here we go. Very easy. Oh, we got a little black there. I really do. I really do like the color palette. I know that I'm trying to name two. I'm trying to get a little organized. You, you know me. I'm I'm like a mad scientist, and I'm a very scatterbrained. It's just it's just craziness. Um. All right. So everybody knows what I like to do here. Move everything to the right. It's gonna be very mechanical. Of course, I love this. I hope you love. This process as much as I do. Um, actually, I have a cool little base that I made to put the turkey baster in, just in case you are going to do this. And like I was saying, I'm gonna. I already, actually, I didn't say I'm going to take this top off here because honestly, guys, this is kind of like a funnel or an open cup, and I think I'm gonna more, run it more like an open cup, like a wandering open cup, so I can move around a little and see if we can get some cells. Um, all right, so I'm actually gonna put it in the base. It's gonna make it easy for myself. If you guys don't mind, I'll move everything inside and then we're gonna go into some awesome music. All right, guys, here we go. Oh, whoops. I will see you on the other side. Let's go. guys let's come back down here and you can see that didn't really take a lot of paint this doesn't hold much i think it's about a an ounce and a half and you see these cups are obviously way more than an ounce each um so that's something to consider but i am did want to put the top back on so otherwise i would have filled it the other way which would have been a lot harder because the the one end is very very narrow all right let's put this back on there it's nice that I have the holder. That actually works out great. If you guys are going to do this, really, it's really nothing. It's just just a hole in a cup. That's it. And I did put paint, um, some blue tape here to hold it. 
and we're gonna peel that off. So let's put it back in the holder. Then we are going to put her back into frame here. Let's get our black down a little. Then, like I said, let's let's run this more like um, a wandering open cup, kind of. I think we're gonna do that. And I think I'm gonna squeeze the top to see if it kind of like gives a little burst action. We'll see, we'll see how that does. Maybe that's gonna simulate instead of moving the cup up. Now, I know this is a very chatty episode, but I wanted to explain that to you that by squeezing this, hopefully it will simulate the lifting up of the cup. That's all, it's as simple as that. All right, so let me grab, oh, I gotta grab something. Hold on guys. Let me grab the big palette knife here. All right, so let's get this down, spread it out just a little, then add a little extra and that's it. We're gonna go into some, some music. Let's get this done. I think this is gonna be so much fun. Oh, I can't wait to see how this works. All right guys, here we go. I will see you on the other side. Let's go. guys let me come back in here because you can see that we've kind of run into a problem because like I said this is only really one and maybe a half um ounces fluid ounces so we're gonna have to put some more in here so let's do that right now because we have definitely have to get some more color onto this this painting and I think let's stay away from the white a little this time guys let's go into this again whoo this is going to be crazy, guys. All right, this is very, very experimental. So now I also did not watch any videos because I kind of wanted to keep this fresh. I wanted to figure it out for myself and for you guys, too. Maybe there's something we might learn here that maybe somebody hasn't. So all right, let's fill this back up again. We're going to take this. Oh, oh, boy. We might have to. We got to put that tape back on. Good thing I thought about that. Ooh, sorry, guys. Ah! Oh, some bloopers going on here. This is this is a silly week. There we go. And you know what I did notice too? When I'm pressing this though, it was sucking some of the paint back up too. So I don't know if that's quite the way to do it. I think I'm gonna run it more this time, more like a um, ribbon slash funnel situation and leave it up a little higher and then squeeze it. So I think I'm gonna do that this time. Let's try that. All right, let's fill this bad boy back up again and let's get this going i guess we're going back into some music guys Whew. let's do this again i will see you on the other side let's go 
No weight this time. Let's just go all color. Well, a little bit of weight. All right, I'll see you on the other side. Here we go. Here we go. All right, let's give this a second shot here. This is fun, very experimental today, but this is great. This is what I like to do with you guys though, is to show you the process of everything so you guys can see. This is how you do things. This is how you create things. This is how you figure things out. Sometimes it might even be best not to watch somebody else. Well, no, nah, I don't know about that. I probably should have watched. Okay, here we go, guys. Took this end off here, and we are going to go around here, and let's go back into some nice music. Relax just a little. Let's finish this up, and I will see you on the other side. Let's go. Woo. guys here we go now i'm going to talk you through this really fast because we are going to tilt this all right i'm going to finish this up here Whew. now also I, I, I keep forgetting to tell you there is no silicone in this at all so just a normal pouring medium that we use you guys probably know it by now the 70 30 version of it all right Try to keep it a little thin. I tried to keep the black a little thin too because I really did think we were going to get an open cup situation. But that's not the case. So, let's torch. Here we go. Woo! Let's see what we get. And then we're going to, then we're going to tilt. Uh, I, I kind of still have, I still have a lot of hopes for this, really. I know this is going to look really nice. This big white is going to, I might have to go off that way like that though. We'll see. Oh, I like it. I did see. I do like the open cup aspect over here, but I couldn't. I couldn't get that everywhere. Up, everywhere. So, and honestly, with no silicone in here, we would have needed a lot more cool force. All right, here we go. Just wanted to heat that up a little. Now we will tilt. See what we get here. All right, here we go. Let's just go. Start stretching. Stretching this out. All right, let's just finish off this top corner really fast. That was an easy one. Let's go up top here, make it easy on ourselves again. Then their stretch will be down later. And like I said, I wanna, let's get rid of some of this white. There we go, very easy. Up top corner. All right, here we go. Nice, now we're just gonna stretch down a little. Ooh, at least we, got, we can have some designs in here. And we'll see what kind of cell action we can get. Maybe we'll get something good. All right, let's now we make decisions. Do you want to come down and then back? Or we don't want to overstretch too much in either direction, actually. See, that's over. For me, this is overstretching in the middle. The bottom, hopefully, when it catches, will adjust this stretch. And plus, we didn't do this side. So let's do this side two first. And kind of like get it down and up. 
we don't mind losing some of that top, which we're not even losing the top at all. So. Oh, this actually worked out good right here, guys. That's nice. Yeah, but we did lose the fluidity at the bottom. Tilting sometimes in itself, I, look, it's like everything else. From the outside, it looks like, oh, you're just tilting the paint off the canvas. Yes, that's obviously what we're doing, but it is kind of an art, a little bit. You have to be patient. You can over tilt. I, I over tilt all the time. See, this side doesn't have any. So I obviously made that wrong decision um, when I said, oh, let's go over here, over here, then over here. But I do like the designs happening here. And maybe this could work out. Hold on. Let's stretch this out bigger so we can don't, don't lose as much when we come this way. Actually, if I have some flow extender, I would much rather save this part. And I hope you guys don't mind that I am talking through the tilting today. I figured we jumped into music enough, right? I mean, even though, see, I record, I haven't even picked out the music yet while I'm doing this, but I know where the music's gonna go. So there we go. All right, now, that was the last of the flow extender. All right, let's get this going. We stretched it out enough so that we don't lose so much. Let's lose the bottom first. I wanna, I wanna preserve that side. I really do love those cells there. Just a slight on the bottom. I don't want to go too hard. So I feel like we can grab some cells here too. Yep, we were able to grab some up top. It's a very ghostly light design and I like the, the, the dark background of it too. So. Maybe it's this, maybe just the Artist Loft White altogether does that effect a little bit. Remember, I even used the Artist Level 1. And that, that gives you the nice cells. Yeah, I lost a little bit there. I will come fix that side. I do not, I'm not tilting off that edge. I'll fix that by hand. Yep, there we go. Let's bring it back into the center. And I think this is going to be good, guys. Woo! I, it's, 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 it's different for me. It's definitely different. We have to figure that out there. We have to say, all right, this is what we want to do. Let's bring this down. Oh, I hate when it discolors in the camera though. Here we go. I'm going to clean this up. I'm just going to get my fingers a little dirty because I do want to, this part, I'm going to clean this up really now. Put some extender on it. Here we go. I don't like leaving parts bare as probably do you. I think the corner needs a little too and I will clean up in a second. Because I want to go in for that close-up. I can't wait. All right. Woo! This is so exciting. Oh, I'm so excited. It's crazy colors, though, guys. Really crazy colors. They worked out well once I uh, eliminated some of the white. I think that white was just very overbearing. Kind of how the cadmium yellow was. Let's torch again real fast. And then we will go in for that close-up. Oh, guys, this is so awesome. Very different. I'll try it again. You need a bigger baster, though. I can't wait to show you these cells. These cells are great. Yep. Here we go. All right, all right. All right, guys. So, we're going to go in for the close-up. And guess what? I'll see you later. Bye.